Um, so yeah, so I'm Katie Marino, Head of Membership Services for BASM, and I'm presenting the 2021 BASM Recognition of Contribution Through COVID Award. Um, so as a board, we thought it was important to recognise the incredible contribution that our members have made and continue to make during this pandemic. You know, when the world was first faced with this pandemic due to a respiratory virus, it became terribly apparent early on that due to the diverse set of skills that SEM training provides, there were so many different aspects um, where SEM professionals were able to slot in and provide such wonderful aid and indeed demonstrate such incredible leadership throughout. And one of the main reasons I think this award's important is that it highlights what a brilliant, adaptable, capable community we have in the SEM sphere who were able and willing to contribute so impressively in such a scary and unprecedented time. And it's sort of clear examples to any juniors and undergrads um, starting their SEM journeys to what the SEM community is about and the focus on helping others, working in teams and going above and beyond. And this is incredibly well evidenced in the three wonderful nominations we had for this award which were the Chief Medical Officer Steering Group, the Oxford SEM team, and the North East Essex NHS MSK service. From helping aid government policy in safe return to sport, to working frontline in the a and &E and COVID wards, to continuing to offer valuable MSK services in a safe manner, and in developing the rehabilitation MDT clinics when long COVID became evident. Um, such a wide scope of ways in which these SEM groups provided essential care. And so on behalf of BASM, we'd like to thank all of the members of all of these teams for the work they've done and continue to do. Um, super in inspiring stuff. But there has to be a winner. Um, and it was a close call in the vote from the membership. Um, and it's my pleasure to announce that the winning team is the Chief Medical Officer Steering Group, um, made up of uh, Nick Pierce, Paul Jackson, Rod Jacks, Joe Larkin, James Calder, Gemma Phillips, Simon Kemp, Charlotte Coey, Mark Gillett, Richard Higgins, Jerry Hill, Zafar Iqbal, Niall Elliott, and Andrew Murray. Sorry if I pronounced any of those uh, incorrectly, I do apologise. Um, and I suppose at this point in a face-to-face -face conference, we'd probably naturally have a round of applause for, for the winner. Obviously harder to do over Zoom, but if everyone can go to the bottom of their screens and click the reactions yeah. button Whee! and put their clapping hands. Yeah, that's well our done. brilliant virtual equivalent to a, a round of applause. Um, and I'll now pass over to Dr. Joe Larkin, who will be accepting the award on behalf of the group. So Joe, if you wouldn't mind saying a few words. Definitely, thank you. And I have to say, I'm going to lift this in because I was told to lift it in, but I didn't actually realise it was going to be a workout and I'm thinking how I'm going to get it home later on. So a little bit of exercise medicine there in my upper limb training. Um, I really don't think the description of what this group did actually did it uh, any justice or service. But first and foremost, this group formed because Nick Pierce emailed um, several of the CMOs, initially a smaller group, to see in... Uh, a pretty short space of time if we wanted to connect because as we know sports medicine can be a really lonely place particularly if you're an individual practitioner so I personally jumped at the chance and want to thank my colleagues and friends for how supportive they've been but through a very rapid frequency of meetings sometimes several hours per day and certainly into the early hours of the morning every time the PM decided to do a six to seven o'clock evening uh, announcement, we work furiously together to help support each other to benchmark our policies and our SOPs in order to make sure it's safe for not only our athletes, but our guidance grassroots to get back to sport, um, because we clearly know the importance of exercise, particularly in the pandemic. It became quickly apparent that this group was quite an influential group, and we were approached by um, DCMS, so Department of Culture, Media and Sport, to help to guide and create a framework for return to elite sport in a staged manner. And uh, James Calder, who um, is a foot and ankle specialist, but seems to be uh, an expert in many fields became our conduit between them. And so we would write the frameworks, connect with him, and then they would be then embedded into a DCMS um, document. 
Since then, we continue to meet on a weekly basis, um, sometimes to discuss all things COVID, sometimes to fit, you know, for example, we're currently focusing on vaccines and the, the media attention that uh, athletes are getting, whether it's factually correct or incorrect, and we're gathering our data to help support that. Um, we're also part of multiple pilot studies, and certainly for me, it was a particular game changer regarding grass court because we worked with PHE on an international travel um, bespoke pilot. So although this group was in the initial stages helping to return to sport, we've continued to work um, very closely with different uh, groups within government to help either influence new changes around travel or help with kind of getting our sport up and running in an international way and just to give a bit of insight personally for grass court if we didn't have this pilot study in place 156 people would have been in self-isolation during grass court including key um, athletes that were meant to be competing but through risk assessment through multiple meetings again um, anonymously risk assessing as well so it wasn't that player x got privilege over player y or staff member we spent hours, including Saturday evenings, where I've been leaving restaurants to do the risk assessments to make sure these athletes could be available if safe and there was particular protocols around them. So it, it's an ongoing thing. We still meet every, well, three mornings a week uh, to discuss those pilots I've just alluded to. And we still have our CMO group um, every Wednesday we have yet to meet in person and we've yet to be able to celebrate, but it'll be great for us to be able to finally do that when it's legal um, <laughs> to celebrate. And we'll make sure this award is uh, featured in those drinks and we'll take a photo and send it to Basm. So on behalf of everyone, I want to thank, I suppose, the individuals for making my life easier, but also hopefully the work we've done has hopefully um, helped other people too within their sports and their grassroots um, environments. Thank you very much, Dr. Larkin. Um, I hope you guys get to meet in, soon, meet in person soon. And I hope we all get to meet in person soon. If you've not got your tickets for May, um, have a look into it. Um, congratulations again, uh, truly inspiring work. Um, and I just wanna make a quick shout out to Jane Dunbar who sourced that award. Um, I, think it looks, I think it looks very cool, very cool. It's, it's, a, it's only five kilograms, Joe. <laughs> Exactly five kilos. Sorry, it's so heavy, but it's I'm a very happy to sort of represent five. the global pandemic. No, I, I just was when I lifted it up this morning because it was the first time I'd seen it. I was like, "Oof, gosh!" 